Hey Gemini, what's up? Welcome to your weekly web reading. Thank you guys so much for being here. You guys are awesome. All right, y'all. So Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. When I do the weeklies, I don't focus specifically on singles or couples. We just see what wants to come out. For your monthlies and mid-monthlies, they are separated by singles and couples. However, I have not done November as I had a family emergency, um, but your mid-monthlies will be up within the next day or two. So check those out as well. All right. At the end of the weeklies, I do answer a yes or no question for you guys. So throughout the reading, try to think of a question you have for me so that I can answer that for you. It'll be the very last thing that I do. All right. All right, here we go, guys. Four of Cups. Four of Swords. Six of Cups. Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands. I see what's up here, Gemini. Six of Wands. All right, guys. So you are coming in this week in the Four of Cups energy. If you're a single person, you've got a lot of options, but you don't really care about any of them, honestly. You, like, don't give a shit. All right? Here, let me make this a little more straight for you. There we go. Um, so it's, it's kind of like boredom. It's indifference. Really. If you're in a relationship, you might be a little bored with it. Let's see. The Hermit, Virgo. Maybe a Virgo in your chart. Maybe you're dealing with one. I think you're just like closed off. You kind of just want to hide. Like you just want to be like by yourself. Um, I think that it, you're kind of in a place where you'd rather just be like by yourself. And it's making you really indifferent to like whatever's happening around you with other people and judgment oh boy um with judgment here along with the six of cups that i didn't get to yet in the present there could be a reconciliation here but if there is if there's a potential for it i don't know that you care like somebody might be trying to come back and you might be just trying to hide <laughs> you know what i mean um Anyway, we'll get to that here in a minute. So your recent past the Four of Swords. This is some healing. This is a necessary timeout. And I think you're still in that position. I think that you recently healed from something. And you're just kind of not ready to put yourself back out there yet. However, you've got the Six of Cups in your present. You've got judgment. This is past energy. So if you don't have somebody from your past coming back trying to make it better, this can be like a past life soulmate shit but somebody here's feeling really nostalgic really missing somebody let's get one on that six of cups six of swords interesting let's get another one queen of cups can be a water sign cancer scorpio pisces but somebody's kind of there's an energy of someone from the past or a past life whatever here still sticking around maybe wanting you to give them a second chance or maybe you want a second chance with somebody but if that's the case it's gonna be easier than the last time you guys tried it right with the six of swords that's moving away from difficulties moving on to you know easier times where there's not a lot of drama and with the queen of cups here it's about following your heart it's about being emotionally open and available. Let's get another one on it. Ooh, death, Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, but we do have significant endings here with the Six of Swords and with death. Um, it can be maybe putting an end to being stuck on the past for somebody here. Knight of Cups, more water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So we have, um, we have two people here, you and them, whatever, that might be at different levels as far as emotional maturity, or there might be an actual age difference here. 
Um, somebody might be, you know, real flirty, real romantic, real dreamy, but not that emotionally mature. And it might not be enough for the other person. Like they might need to put an end to it because it's kind of, it's real sweet, real childlike, but it might not be up to the other person's standards as far as emotional maturity. All right, now in the future, we've got this page of wands here. So this is new communication coming in, likely online, via text, whatever. I mean, everybody kind of talks that way right now, but page of wands is really fast communication. Um, and temperance here, Sagittarius, could be from a Sagittarius, but that's all about like your inner world and your outer world matching up. It's about alchemy as well. You know, taking this bullshit that happened here in the past and turning it into something good. And with the Page of Wands, it's also about like finding your passion again, you know, maybe connecting with somebody that, you know, you guys are really attracted to each other. It's really like really passionate communication. But you also, like, you mix well together. And the Knight of Swords, it's a conversation. Somebody's coming in uh, with this, like, honest conversation. It has to happen. It can feel a little, a little blunt, a little reckless, but it's honest. You can trust it. All right? And you've got two Knights here. We have Water and Air. Um, so it could likely be you. You may be needing to, in order to bring the balance back into your life, you might need to have the, like this actual like hardcore conversation with somebody. Um, your potential obstacle is the Eight of Wands. This is Cupid's Arrows. It's a shoot your shot card. It's a lot of action, a lot of communication. So for this to be an obstacle, there might be blocked communication here. Or somebody might be like really promiscuous. <laughs> Let's see can also be travel. If somebody is at a distance from you, there might be problems with, you know, getting to them. Let's see. Might be travel delays if you are planning to travel to someone or with someone. What's this eight of wands? The sun reversed. Yeah, it's some unhappiness, it's some sadness, and somebody might have like hooked up with somebody outside of a relationship and it's still, there's still some sadness over it. Now, your advice though, we have the Six of Wands. This is about being confident. It's about feeling like a winner, allowing yourself to be seen. Um, it's about gaining recognition for the efforts that you've put into a situation. It's about, you know, being out there, being in the public eye, getting attention. Um, so you're all in hermit right now. The advice might just be to put yourself back out there. Let yourself be seen, you know? And the five of wands. Ooh, this is about some drama. Somebody might be mad at the attention that you get um, because like if you're somebody who's like pretty hot and is putting yourself out there to be seen, it might piss somebody off. They might not like the attention that you're getting. There might be some competition, some jealousy. And the Nine of Pentacles. All right, so this is really good for you where you're at right now. The Nine of Pentacles is about independence, about being the kind of person that's good by yourself. That way you can be a healthy person when in a relationship, right? It's about focusing on yourself, your own independence, your own stability, so that you have the confidence to allow yourself to be seen, your whole self. And I think that's what you're doing. I think that's why you're hiding out because... You just want to make sure you're right first. And the sun, there you go. Now we have the sun upright. You've got it reversed as an obstacle. You've got it upright as the advice card. This is about focusing on your own happiness within yourself so that you're good in a, in a connection. If, when you want to be in one, you know, there is a lot of good coming in here for you, but there's also something that needs to end first. And I think it, it will probably be ending or did end because it's it's just a maturity level thing as far as I can tell. All right. Let's get your yes or no, guys. Are you ready? Yes or no? For my Gemini. 
Yes or no, Gemini? Yes or no? That's a no with the High Priestess reversed. I hope you guys wanted it to be. You guys take care. Thank you so much for hanging out with me.